us here our veer tv check it out it is pouring rain i keep running in and out of these showers and some are just heavy so i'm gonna keep on trucking i'm gonna go up through a town called newport because i'm not gonna fight the weather anymore i'm just gonna keep right on going it's no sense staying in the campground when all I do is sit inside the van. So, might as well drive. I Google mapped this area up here a little bit. Uh, once we get across the bridge, there's uh, another lighthouse. Thought we'd check that out. And if it ain't raining too bad, there's uh, like a fisherman district. A bunch of fishing boats. So, we'll at least get a little video of the bridge and whatever we can hopefully I mean these showers they start and stop so you never know but hopefully we'll get a break up here when I get up this direction See a little blue sky off to the left. We're in town. This is Newport, Oregon. And here's the bridge. Almost all these bridges are under some kind of construction. Well, it's summertime. When can they do it? Hey, look at the blue sky. Okay, once we get across, I gotta take an immediate right and exit. Then that lighthouse is supposed to be off. I don't know, it'd be on the what? Left hand side. Alright, here's the Newport Bridge. This is a big one, too. Holy moly. All these bridges. Look at the concrete pillars they have. Aren't those cool? Wow, look at this. We are way up here. Big old span bridge. More pillars. Alright, now I gotta look for that street or exit. Yeah, they're working on this one. Right here. Okay. I'm gonna take this and go down by the lighthouse. That piping that must be sandblasting equipment they must be painting all these things well hopefully it stops raining long enough I can get a few pictures at least hopefully okay I think this is it all right head on down I'll find a place to park down here. There's the bridge. And it's raining. This started again. Look at the clouds rolling through. It just changes by the minute. Alright. You guys can sit here with me and watch it rain. <laughs> Okay, as soon as it quits, I'll get out and we'll walk around a minute. Okay, it stopped. Yaquina Bay? Did I say that right? I think so. Nice, nice viewing area. There's the bridge. Isn't that impressive? Look at that thing. My goodness. We just crossed that. Even with the clouds and everything, doesn't that look cool? There's the bay. Fishing boat's heading out right now to go fish. There's the lighthouse. Looks like they got a tower there. Coast Guard. I'm sure they're on duty. 
Pretty little park here. Right over here is the ocean. So you've got a walk down, you can go down to the beach. I'm not going to do it in the rain, though. Okay, lighthouse. It's open 12 to 4. I'm not going to do that one today. Keep on trucking. Let's see what the storyboards say. With all the history. Nice. Thing still used. We are there. Yay. Okay, well. I'm jumping the van. I want to keep on going. See, now look, it quit. Quit raining. But there's plenty more coming in. <laughs> it's supposed to be like this for the next couple of days. Let's go over the other side of the bridge. I'll go down by the pier or harbor, take a few videos and we'll hit the road. Plenty of day use parking here. Be a good little stop. No camping in this area. There was uh, state parks on the south side of the bridge. But I didn't stop at any of those. My goal is to make Tillamook. There's a big Elks Lodge RV park in Tillamook. That's where I'm heading today. I'm going to stop here, get a quick shot of this bridge. This is a big bridge. This is one of the bigger ones. Bet they're painting it. Look at all the crews. Probably getting rained out. Got everything tarp, all on pipes. Something going on. Alright. get the way back. <laughs> I get a kick out of the comments when I read it. I waved. Yeah. Cool. Alright, well let's go down by the boats, get a few pictures. Well, <laughs> well it's still not raining. Let's see, I think it's this street here. I Google mapped this earlier, so I halfway know where I'm at. There's a Coast Guard office down here. Then there's a like a fisherman's wharf, I guess you'd call it. All the seafood places. Bet all the boats come in. Probably get really good seafood. You can really smell it in the air, the old salty, fishy smell. Look at the murals on the building. Those are cool. Grab a parking place. We'll get a few pictures of the boats. Big boats here. Pretty. Look at the reflection of the clouds in the water. Look at that. That's a photographer's dream right there to get that kind of flat water with the reflection. 
A lot of commercial boats. Look at them big ones way across the water. Those are like research vessels. Yeah, look at the seals. Can you hear them? Well, pretty cool place. Look at all the names. One named Judy. Boat named Judy. Griffin. Who knows? I'm sure there's a meaning. Look at them two seals next. They must have bait or something there. And there's a shot of the bridge with the boat. Look at that. And the clouds. Pretty. Make a postcard picture. Well, I see those clouds really coming in. So time to hit the road. I think it's about another 70 miles up to Tillamook. Well, this would be a fun place to explore. Come here and spend a few days. Check out all the shops down here and the seafood. This is definitely a port town. Shipping ports. All those shops all fixed up. Probably gets busy here on the weekends, I bet. If the walls could talk, huh? I really can't complain too much. I've been pretty blessed with the weather since I've been in Oregon. So, a little bit of rain, oh well. Right, go back up, jump on 101 North. Keep on trucking. This is all Coast Guard in here, their offices. Right there on the left. With the red roof, it says Coast Guard. Hey, there's the bridge again. And a special shout out to Bob G from Salem, Oregon. He's a disabled veteran that reached out to me. We we're gonna try to meet up, but with the weather, I cannot stop Bob. Next time, hopefully we can meet. It says 101 North. That's us. Well, get up here a little bit. I'll stop and get a little bit of fuel. Take a break, and then about another 60, 70 miles up to Tillamook. That uh, Elks Lodge RV park, it's huge. It's supposed to have like 60 sites, and it's actually out of town. It's before you get to Tillamook. I'm probably going to hold up there for three or four days. Catch up on a bunch of editing I got, all kinds of video clips I got to put together. So it'll be a nice little rest. Get off the road for a few days. The Elks, they got food, they got all kinds of stuff. I haven't stayed at too many because I've really been trying to concentrate on the state parks, which I'm glad, but it'll be a nice little break anyway. Boy, this is some old looking town yet here too. This is still Newport. There are links to help support the channel. Buy me a cup of coffee, shop on Amazon, get you a t-shirt, coffee mug, anything. It helps support uh, the channel and it grows. I appreciate everyone that's done that already. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alrighty, well, when I get up to Tillamook, like I said, I'm going to lay over for a few days. I know there's a bunch of uh, cheese places. and There's all kinds of stuff to film up there. So that'll be the next stop on the journey. This is the RVR TV.
Are we there yet? 2019 Travel Series. Talk soon. <laughs>